Okay, great. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first webinar for this year's Give Local Allegheny Highlands. Um, I see more people are coming in, so we're just going to kind of give it a minute to allow everyone to join, get settled. Um, in the meantime, for those of you who are here, we would love to know who you are, your name, what organization you're representing today. Um, so you can just click that little chat bubble and let us know, and we'll get started in a minute. Okay, cool. Let's get started. So just a few housekeeping items to note before we get going. Um, I do want to let you know that the webinar will be recorded and it's going to be posted in the toolkit on the Give Local Allegheny Highlands uh, website underneath the nonprofit toolkit toolkit right in the tab um, in the navigation bar. Uh, if you do have questions that come through during the presentation, you can just click the little Q&A uh, at your screen and you can send those to us and I'll get to as many as we can at the end of the webinar. Um, but again, welcome everyone. Uh, here's our intro page. So I just want to welcome everyone. Um, so my name is Sarah. I'm a project manager with Mighty Cause, and we are the platform provider for Give Local Allegheny Highlands. Um, today, we also have Daniel joining us from the Allegheny Foundation. So I'm just going to pass it over real quick to Daniel so he can say hello to you all. Yeah, hey everyone. I'm uh, really excited now to be getting underway with the uh, second year of uh, Give Local Allegheny Highlands. And uh, hopefully this uh, webinar will have some uh, good info to help uh, you know some of the new people kind of become familiar with the basics of how exactly the event works, but also we'll be uh, discussing quite a few things to uh, help uh, returning nonprofits with really gearing up to uh, you know help continue to uh, grow this event to uh, support the nonprofits that make our area stronger. So thanks everyone for uh, joining us today. Awesome. Um, okay, so here's a look at our agenda today. We're going to go over the basics for the event. Um, and then I'm going to walk you through kind of just quickly how to register if you're new. Um, and then we're going to do kind of um, like a very new, unique kind of walkthrough on the organization uh, platform to show you just kind of how to find everything on your organization page. So we'll do a walkthrough about how to edit. Um, and then we'll do the Q&A at the end. So again, just click the Q&A question little bubble and put those through. Um, so we're going to have Daniel kind of cover the basics uh, and the exciting prizes available to you all this year. Yeah, so just to uh, really quickly get started, uh, Give Local Allegheny Highlands is an online 24 hour fundraising event uh, designed to uh, benefit the nonprofits uh, with programs that serve the residents of Allegheny County and Covington. Uh, so the registration deadline for the event is May 13th if you are not registered yet. Um, and then uh, once uh, you are registered, uh, the main premise of the event is uh, each nonprofit will create a profile page on the website that basically looks like a Facebook page. You'll have a profile picture for the nonprofit, a uh, background banner, and then uh, the nonprofits will list their uh, mission uh, kind of overviews and also list out any um, programs that they um, offer to residents of Allegheny County and Covington and anything else that the nonprofits want to put on those pages. And then uh, right now on givelocalah.org, where it says register right at the very top of the page, um, starting on May 24th, when the early giving window begins, that um, uh, word register will switch over to donate. And when people click on that donate button, it will take them to a page that lists out all of the participating nonprofits. And then people can uh, read through the different um, you know, information that the nonprofits have put onto those profile pages. And then if they're interested, make a donation to the nonprofit uh, directly from that web page. And in order to, uh, you know, in, encourage some friendly competition between the nonprofits and encourage residents of the Allegheny Highlands to donate to the nonprofits, I'm really excited to announce that uh, the Allegheny Foundation and Ingevity will be offering $35,000 worth of prizes for this year's event. And uh, so that prize information is now available on givelocalah.org. So uh, for the full overview of those prizes, uh, you can go to the website and then click on the prizes page on the main menu. 
and all the information will be there, but I'll just really quickly go over some of it. So uh, we will have $8,000 in prizes for an overall fundraising leaderboard for both small nonprofits and large nonprofits. And so uh, we'll break up those categories closer to the event so that everyone's competing against nonprofits of uh, similar budget sizes to themselves to make it fair for all sizes of groups. But the uh, group in each of those categories that raises the most money will receive $3,000 from the Allegheny Foundation. Uh, second place will receive $2,000. Third place will receive $1,500. Uh, fourth place will receive $1,000. And then the fifth place uh, nonprofit in each of those categories will receive $500 this year. And so those overall fundraising prizes will be accounting for all donations made to the nonprofit between May 24th, uh, when the early giving window starts, uh, through June 7th, which is the actual day of the event. And uh, that will include both offline and online donations the nonprofit receives uh, during that window. And then also on the actual day of the event, June 7th, we'll be offering uh, $9,000 worth of Power Hour prizes, and then another $3,000 worth of Golden Ticket prizes. So we'll be offering six uh, Power Hours, and what those are are one-hour fundraising sprints, where the nonprofit that raises the most money during that hour will receive a $1,500 prize from the Allegheny Foundation. So of those six, we'll have three for uh, nonprofits in the small nonprofit category and three for large nonprofits. And every group is eligible to win one of those prizes because we do want to, you know, kind of spread the wealth around the community and make sure that all nonprofits are able to uh, receive some money from this event. And then also to uh, really make the event fun, we'll be offering 15 golden tickets this year. And so what those are is uh, every hour of the event from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m., uh, one donation will be selected um, that's made to a nonprofit and that uh, donation will be boosted with an additional $200 from the Allegheny Foundation that will go towards that nonprofit. And again, each nonprofit is eligible to win one of those prizes. And then uh, also just to make sure that every nonprofit that participates in the event does get some money, we have a prize pool of $7,000 that will be evenly divided between all groups that receive at least 10 donations between May 24th and June 7th. And then in addition to uh, those $35,000 worth of prizes, we are also doing the high school uh, seniors giving program again. And so uh, what that program is, is every single senior at uh, the boys home um, and Covington High School and also at Allegheny High School will have the opportunity to um, read about the uh, various nonprofits that are participating in the event on givelocalah.org. And then before they graduate, they'll get to pick one nonprofit participating in the event to receive a $50 donation from the Allegheny Foundation in that student's honor. So that's um, another almost $10,000 that's up for grabs for nonprofits this year if you're able to get uh, high school seniors to uh, vote for you in that program. So there are a lot of prizes available this year. And so uh, now Sarah will go into kind of uh, helping you all understand a bit more about how to participate and uh, get access to some of that money. Awesome, thank you. Um, okay, so for those who are new and have not participated in a Giving Day before, um, just real quick, a Giving Day is an online fundraising marathon. It's aiming to bring people together to support uh, like a specific community cause or space. Um, the Giving Day hosts themselves are going to organize the event and help you rally, you know, view, view the, as the organizations to raise funds for your causes. Um, and organizations participating in a Giving Day utilize, you know, the resources and tools that are provided to you from the hosts. Um, to help reach out to your networks and solicit donations and kind of secure fundraisers and really work on growing your uh, network during the event. Um, so for how do Giving Days work, as we noted, uh, a Giving Day is a unique campaign presented by a host organization um, that provides participants the opportunity to really capitalize on the urgency of the limited time frame. So in this case, you know, you have 24 hours minus really giving, of course, to raise the most money for your cause. Um, giving days are a super exciting way for you to really engage your sponsors, your community partners, um, try to get some peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers, spreading the word um, about your organization and your mission, and to really just raise as much money as you can for your cause. Um, and the limited time frame is going to help with your sense of urgency, and this is really something that donors tend to respond to. Um, and then, of course, the various prizes that Daniel was mentioning give you really fresh messaging opportunities for your donors when you're kind of starting to plan your campaign. Um, as far as what your organization needs to do to participate, you definitely are going to need to register your organization first by May 13th if you are not already registered. 
Um, and then once you're registered, you can start to customize your profile, which is what we're going to kind of demo today um, on the Give Local Allegheny Highlands site and really start planning for your campaign. So once your page is set up, you can start to invite people involved in your organization to participate as peer to peer fundraisers. Um, and then once early giving has kicked off on May 24th, you can really start promoting your campaign, encouraging early giving. Um, and of course, you're going to definitely really want to push your biggest donation ask on the actual giving day so that you can win some of the prizes that are available to you. Um, so if you're not registered first things first, you're going to need to go to the Give Local Allegheny Highlands site and just click register. Uh, on that page, you can search for your organization. You can also create an account if you've never used Mighty Cause before. Um, if you're new and you need kind of an email admin set up, there will be a prompt there as well. Um, once you take that step, a short registration form appears. Just fill that out, click submit. Um, and then once you're approved, you have the ability to start adding additional administrators to your account if multiple people are going to be helping to manage your campaign. Um, and of course, if you get confused, uh, don't remember how to log in, anything like that, you can email the Mighty Cause support team at support at mightycause.com. Um, alrighty, so uh, now we're going to go over kind of what the Give Local Allegheny Highlands website looks like, where to log in, and then I'm going to move into giving you an overview on how to kind of edit um, and just navigate around the back end of the organization, of your organization page. So I'm going to stop my screen share for a moment and switch over. Okay, awesome. Does everyone see the website? <laughs> Daniel, do you see it? Just let me know. Okay, I'm going to assume you all can see the page that I'm looking at. Um, okay, so uh, first things first, you'll go to the Give Local Allegheny Highlands um, page. Uh, and this is where you're going to access your login. So right on the top right hand corner, um, you're going to see the little person icon. Um, you can click this and this is where you'll log in. Uh, if you have a Google account, you can set it up through that way or your email and your password. You can do that as well. Um, if you forget, like I said, your login, you can enter the email address and you just click forgot password. But if you have no idea what your email address is um, attached to your account, you can always reach out to our support team um, and they can help you kind of tell you what uh, actual email is associated with your account. Um, and then once you're logged in, uh, you can have a little drop down menu. I'll use Google. It'll bring you back to your page. And if you hover over your icon, you can see um, the organization that you're attached to. So for me, it's the Mighty Cause Foundation. Um, OK, so once you do that, you can, well, pretend that I just clicked that. I'm going to pop over to the Animal Humane Society, which is kind of like our demo test site to show you all what's going on. Um, so this left side is your dashboard. So when you log in, you'll automatically land in this overview section. Um, at the top, you'll find a to-do list right here. You can click that. It'll outline some really great next steps for you all. Kind of just a couple little bulleted points that we think uh, are you know, the most critical to setting up your page, completing your organization page, EFT if you need it, uh, the thank you page, um, and then recommended kind of complete your org page, which is um, everything on here, which we'll go through. Um, let's see. Okay, so uh, on your overview page, this is where you'll kind of land. Um, it'll give you a little tutorial if you need it. You can always X out. Um, it always pops up for us on our demo sites. But right here, you'll also see a bunch of different metrics available to you. Um, each admin can set up their own metrics view on their own page, which is really nice. Uh, and then under your organization page in the dashboard, this is where you are going to customize your page. Uh, it'll also give you a tutorial if you need it, but you can toggle on and off edit mode um, so that you can see exactly what uh, people visiting your site are going to see. So. Uh, all of this is on page editing, which is really nice. So everything you see, everything you're editing is exactly what is going to be shown to visitors of your page. So when you're ready to edit, you can just turn on edit mode. 
you can see everything that is available to you for editing because there's these little bubbles. Um, you can also show your metrics. So down here you'll have a little, you can edit this, uh, edit your goal, um, items like that if you have a goal for the event. Um, you can also include offline donations. You can show number of donors, amount raised. Uh, you can change your start calculation date to early giving for this year. Um, there's a lot of kind of editing capabilities in this section. Um, let's see, under organization page, um, uh, pretty much this is the hub of your activity for Give Local Allegheny Highlands. So definitely take some time to just really get to know your organization dashboard, which is everything to the left of your screen. Um, and then just so you know, uh, some people do ask about this. Uh, this URL up at the top is the link that you're going to share with supporters to go to your organization page. So you'll just copy and paste this into any of your emails. Um, if you have a Facebook post and you want people to land on your page, uh, you can also click donate on your own page. It'll bring you up the page for donate. You can copy and paste that URL if you want like a direct donate link. Um, there's a lot of different uh, kind of areas that you can share with people here. Um, uh, you'll know you're in the right place because it'll say your uh, well, mine says your giving day, but yours will say give local AH.org and then your organization. Um, Alrighty, so within the fundraising tools section, we're going to move forward. Uh, we'll come back to the organization page. But in the fundraising tools section, you'll be able to review any of your peer to peer fundraisers that have been created for your organization. You'll also find matching grants, which we'll touch on in a minute. Um, below this on your dashboard, uh, a bit further down, is reports. Um, this is where you're going to be able to preview and export different donation reports, donor retention reports, disbursements, um, just a ton of uh, good information there. Uh, as we go along, you'll see checkout. Uh, checkout, you can customize your donation form and your thank you page and your receipts. And then finally, uh, the last one we'll touch on is your settings. Um, and here you can manage your organization settings, like adding um, more admins or customizing your URL in your profile up here. If you aren't satisfied, you can change it. Um, okay, cool. So we'll go back to the organization page. It loves to give me tutorials on my demo site. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to walk you through kind of just the overall editing capabilities. If you need a refresher uh, or if you're new, so you have access to customize your entire profile page. Um, like I said, this is the face of your organization on the giving day, so you'll want to make sure it looks as good as possible and really represents your organization well. The first thing you're going to want to do is upload your logo. Um, you can, of course, click the pencil icon to do this. Uh, and logos are a one-to-one -one aspect ratio, so pretty much a square. These logos are the same kind of aspect ratio that most social media sites use. So if you already have a logo on Facebook or Twitter, um, Instagram, you can typically use the same logo as well. Uh, one thing we do want to talk about is just making sure that your logo, uh, whatever your logo is, you aren't clashing backgrounds with your uh, banner image. So the next thing you want to do is upload a background image, uh, banner image to your page. Um, it looks best if it's text free, a super strong image that represents your organization, um, people doing things uh, pretty much, I mean, you get the idea. Landscape will work the best, of course, it is a landscape image. Um, it has a three to one aspect ratio, if that uh, is something you need. So you can click change and you'll see how you can kind of drag and reposition uh, that. We also have a generic gallery of images. If you're short on time and can't find the right photo, you can just select one of these that we already have pulled. Um, and then, of course, you're going to want to start to really customize your page to match your brand. Um, you can change your theme color on your page. If you have a specific color that you use, um, you can type in the hex code for that so it is all consistent with your brand. Um, so really just take the time, logo, banner, um, customizing a color that works for you. Uh, and all of this is super kind of intuitive. Once you get on here, you can click around and you'll see um, you can change, you know, the name of your the front facing name of your organization if you go by something else. Um, but as we scroll down, we'll go to the story section. Uh, this is really the centerpiece of your page in your story. 
Uh, you can put your mission statement, you can add photos, you can add videos. If you do add a video, you'll want to add it through uh, YouTube or Vimeo first, and then you add the link. Um, but you can embed it in uh, the videos inside your story. Um, this is really the area where you can go super in-depth about all the work your organization does, uh, really make your strong appeal to donors, tell them why you need their support, show the impact of your work. Um, if you're raising money for a, a particular goal, you can talk about that goal very specifically. Um, there's just, and it's all in, in uh, uh, you can all, always make edits right on the page. And then whatever you do in here, just be sure to click this little kind of blue save button. Um, okay, so as we scroll down, you can also see featured campaigns. So if there's organizations, if there's people who are fundraising for you, this is all your peer-to-peer -peer fundraising section. Um, you can highlight those, you can show all of them. You can pull ones that you want, uh, if there's one that you need to stand out more than another. Um, so this is pretty much, uh, oh, and then you can also add galleries. So you can upload media, you can connect your Instagram or your Facebook. There's just a ton of uh, capability to really personalize it and make sure it matches your organization brand. Uh, okay, so we're gonna kind of focus just a little more on the about section. So this is really where you are gonna be kind of attracting people on the day of. This is your, your pretty standard, like this is the big fundraising section for you. So you're just gonna type right in to start editing. Um, a really cool piece here is that you can create extra tabs. So you can uh, add up, you can have up to three custom tabs. So basically add anything you want info about upcoming events, frequently asked questions. If you have staff acknowledgements, certain things you want to really hit on, you can drag these in a different order, but your about will always stay on the left, um, just so you know that. Um, okay, so let's see what else. We already hit on kind of the general section here. I'm gonna move into the checkout flow. So if you go to checkout, you can find your donation form, your thank you page and your donation receipt. Um, you're gonna definitely wanna customize these items as well. So the first part is to customize your checkout steps. Um, uh, let's see, so you can customize checkout uh, receipts. So I'm gonna show you this donate form. Um, so you can set up custom suggested donation amounts and add descriptions to each of these to really help tie together the amounts uh, to different items or services that your organization provides. So for example, you could show like a $100 donation funds one uh, trip for like a school or something like that, or like $40, uh, 10 pounds of dog food, $100 transport rescue dogs. These are all editable. Um, you can also turn on or off one-time donations or monthly donations. Uh, you can hide different options here if you need. You can click each of these to customize them. This is what that interface looks like. Uh, you can add more. Um, the only thing you probably wanna be careful of is to not provide too many options. So we find it sometimes to be overwhelming to donors. So kind of hit maybe four, uh, four to six, I would say is a good number to kind of stick by. Uh, let's see. And then you can, of course, collect any other information you want. You can add uh, one custom question to your receipt as well. Uh, we'll go back to checkout. Um, so moving into your thank you page. This section is the checkout where you go to set up kind of your thank you uh, that's going to get sent out with um, each donation, each donor that uh, donates. So you can add text, you can add links, you can add a video even. You can also add a custom call to action button, um, editable here. It pretty much follows the same editing capabilities as the front page of your org with the about section that you can edit. Um, going into your donation receipt. You can uh, customize your org donation receipt here. Um, this customization set you see appears above the tax deductible donation receipt that gets sent out automatically after your donor completes their donation on the site. So um, you like this is my custom receipt, but you'll also have a receipt on yours that shows like the Give Local Allegheny uh, receipt. But this is where you go in, same on-screen editing, uh, customize your message that's going to go above it. Um, let's see, we're going to move into, uh, 
highlight some of these things, your report section. This is a ton of valuable uh, data for you all. So you can see we have uh, different areas, donations, um, offline donations, recurring donations, retention, and disbursements. And I have this, um, but you all will not. Uh, you can review your donations and disbursements in this section. Uh, you can click on that section to give you a submenu where you choose from all donations. Uh, you can check on re uh, recurring donations. So here are your donations. Uh, you can organize by campaign type. So when you click view giving event, you can uh, select the year of the event um, and it'll organize for you, which is super cool. Uh, we'll go back to on. Um, so you can also download these reports. So when you're ready, you can click download. There's, uh, this is also where you'll go if you're adding offline donations, which we'll touch on in a second. Um, let's see, and then we'll go back to reports. Here's your disbursements. Uh, we are on the demo site, so we don't have disbursements, but you all will. Um, let's see, moving along, we have your retention report. So this section allows you to export your list of unretained donors. You can send your own individual emails to these people. Um, at the top of your retention report, you're also able to filter and you can create kind of the type of retention report that you need. Uh, through status, you can filter your report to show retained or not retained. Um, and this is all downloadable as well. Uh, we'll go into offline donations. Uh, so one of the most important aspects of online fundraising is being able to track and just manage your donor information. So offline donations are added to show your fundraising success outside of Mighty Cause and the online platform. So any gifts made via cash or check during your giving period um, are going to count towards your organization's giving day total, uh, and you're going to have to enter these in manually. So to add an offline donation, you're going to select add offline donation right here in the top right hand corner. Um, and when adding a donation, you'll need to enter key information like the donor's name, of course, uh, any of all of this information is uh, what you're going to want to add. Um, let it know whether it's cash check, corporate match, etc. At the top of the report, you can search for a particular offline donation uh, if you need to find something specific. Um, and then, of course, once you enter an offline donation, you can't go back and edit the donation. So if you made an error, you're going to need to delete and you'll need to re-enter it. Uh, let's go into, um, where am I going? I'm going to look at matching grants. So we'll go to fundraiser tools. Uh, a ton of stuff here we'll try to hit on as much as we can, but this is where you're going to go for matching grants. Um, we're going to go into kind of way more detail on matching grants at the next webinar. That's all about strategy, but I do want to touch a little bit on just matching grants and some of the kind of capabilities here. Uh, matching grants are a huge incentive to donors to give because they're, of course, going to double uh, their donation if it's set up as a one-to-one -one match. Um, but I'm sure you all know that that goes to drive a ton of donations. Um, and so within here, you can see a bunch of different, I don't have any live matches to show you, but you can see how it's all queued, the live matches, matches that you have coming next, past matches that you may have set up. Um, all of this is here, and when you're ready to create, you can click Create. Um, and this is just a really versatile tool. There is a ton of capability here on how you structure. So like I said, you could do a one-to-one -one match where if someone gives a amount, then the exact same amount is matched. With our tool, you can also do two-to-one. You can do three-to-one. You can also match just a percentage of each donation if that's what you want to do. Um, and the match tool does all the math for you. So all you have to do is choose how you want to structure it. Uh, you can also apply a match when a certain number of donations have been received. So if there's like a power hour available for like most of individual donations, for instance, you could say if you get 100 donations, you'll get an additional $1,000 for your organization or however it's set up uh, to really kind of be like a, a tool for you to try to drive donation volume and traffic. Um, Okay, so the matching tool also allows you to post multiple grants at the same time and also in sequence. So if you get a bunch of grants to queue one off, you can do that one after another. Um, it might sound like a lot. It looks like maybe it might be a lot, but uh, it's actually pretty easy to use. And of course, if you need help, you can reach out to our support team. Um, you can also hide the matcher's name publicly if they wanted it to be 
not known. Um, and then of course you can also add images. You can add a logo if you got a corporate match. Um, so this is really good kind of incentivizing to have corporations and sponsors give you matches because it, it gives them a lot of exposure on your page uh, and shows off their philanthropy. So in, let's see, under settings, uh, this is the uh, last kind of section. Uh, it's where you're going to go to customize your URL, manage your electronic fund transfers, your EFT, update any legal information, customize your social sharing. Um, that's under general settings. I should click it so you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, so if you want to optimize, uh, change your URL customization, <laughs> it's a lot of talking today. You can do that here. You can also um, kind of put in different alternate search names. Uh, social sharing is really great. So you can pre kind of fill the social share button. So when someone comes to your site uh, and they click share to socials, this is what they're going to see. So you can fill out your logo. You can add your card title, the description, uh, any hashtags that you want people to use and then save it. Um, and let's see, I'll show you what that looks like on your org page. Right here. When someone clicks share this org, that's what uh, that will pop up. Uh, one of, I think we're almost through. Um, so under your fundraising tools, you're also going to find your widget. Uh, and this has embeddable kind of donate buttons. So every account comes with a few donation widgets. It allows you to collect donations uh, for your organization through other websites. So if you uh, have a regular website, you know a ton of people are coming to, and it would be easier for you to add a widget, you can add a little donate button. Um, the widgets are going to reflect your custom donation levels and the descriptions that you've set up. Uh, so you know exactly what your donors are seeing when they click do to donate through the widget uh, on your, your website. But it's not going to include your custom checkout questions, and it's not going to include any dedications uh, or designations if that's something that is kind of required from your organization. Uh, widgets are totally optional. You don't have to use them, but it's just kind of another kind of incentive, just cool way that you can use the platform uh, outside of the actual organization page here. Uh, and all of, of course, all these donations are going to filter right into your uh, organization. Um, I think that that's it for my demo. I did it really quickly. So uh, again, first things first, you're going to want to come here and just check out your to-do list uh, and then really start updating this section. I would say those are like the most important. And then head to your checkout, fill out these. And once you get to that, everything else you can kind of kind of, you know, tinker away and look at and uh, explore. But those are kind of your key items. Uh, Alrighty, I'm going to switch back to our slides. Okay. Um, so just to make sure we mention just the really good, uh, wonderful tools available to you as you get ready for the event, uh, this is your nonprofit toolkit. So your nonprofit toolkit, all these support articles, uh, the trainings, the slides um, are located within here on the site. It has tips, tricks, support articles, FAQs, walkthroughs, just a ton of info to really kind of help you start figuring out how to promote your campaign, try something new for your campaign if you've been doing it for a few years and you need something uh, different. There's just a ton of in-depth starter info depending on what you're looking for. Um, and like I said, this is where I'm going to upload the video webinar and I have slides as well. So uh, you do not have to hear me all over again. You can just download, I think it's like 24 slides. So I've turned everything that you've just seen into a slide deck so you can review kind of in your own time. Uh, and then as we wrap up, I wanna make sure you have support contact info here for you. So our Mighty Cause team is a really great resource before and during the giving day for just anything campaign related that you have. If you need help setting up your EFT, if you need help figuring out how to strategize with the time frame, if your donor says that they need you to resend them a receipt, you can reach out to our support team, um, uh, just support at MightyCause.com. Um, and then, of course, be sure to check out the full support library, um, support.mightycause.com. I've also added that to the toolkit. 
uh, you can search for anything that you need, how to peer-to-peer -peer fundraise, how to uh, pull a donor retention report. There's literally pretty much anything that you can think of. Just search through those articles. Um, so if you all have questions or if you've thought of something and you want to start sending those through, you can do so now. Just click the Q&A button and I'll start reading through them. Um, I also, while you're thinking of any questions that you have, I want to remind you all about the next webinar, Let's Talk Strategy. It's happening May 19th at 2 p.m. Eastern. Um, we're going to go over just um, pretty much everything you just saw, just in greater detail, but more on strategy uh, regarding the tools in your account, as well as email marketing, email strategy, elevating kind of your outreach, um, social media tips that we find really helpful to help you make the most of your giving event opportunity. Um, so you're going to have to register for that webinar as well. Just go to the website and click on the nonprofit toolkit and you'll find it there. Um, all righty, time to get into any questions you might have. Let's see what you all think. Yes, the date of the next webinar is May 19th. It's at 2 p.m. Eastern. Um, let's see. Yeah, so be sure to check that one out because there's going to be a bunch of good information on peer-to-peer -peer fundraising if you're new. If you are experienced peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers, we can talk to you about other ways to kind of drive more, uh, make it a more challenging year for you so you can grow your organization. Uh, you always want to kind of continue reaching just a little bit so you can keep growing. Um, and then I don't see any questions. So if you all do come up with questions, reach out to us, let our support team know. Um, and of course, uh, I'll see slash here. You'll hear me at the next webinar. Uh, but thanks to everyone for attending and thank you to Daniel and the Ellen Ganey Foundation. Um, I'm gonna upload this to our YouTube channel and then add it as the embeddable link that you see. So thank you everyone and have a super great rest of your day.